I'm taking the boat to the pier I got no fear, I'm living it up I'm filling it up I got a bucket of fish, that's by hook Cast two fears away Let's go fish all day Let's go to the bay And get a death by hook I'm taking the boat to the pier I got no fear, I'm living it up I'm filling it up I got a bucket of fish, death by hook You're watching Death by Hook, Cast your fears away Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Robert Munoz. Uh, welcome to my channel, Death by Hook. Today, we are going to be continuing our cross series. We are going to try to make um, a whitish, bluish craw. Um, everybody keeps asking me for ghost, clear. Um, we're going to try to make all those. I even have some glow-in-the-dark powders that we might try. So, we're going to go ahead and try to mimic that today today we're just going to be using one color like we've been doing and this is going to be a highlight uh, 135 from lure works so a highlight blue you can order this online and we're going to use uh this sparkle violet poly glitter 0 0.004 just to give it a little sparkle all right, let's mix our color up. We put our plastic in here. Always make sure, safety first, <clears throat> always make sure to have a glove on because this stuff is hot. So this is dead on plastics or swim bait edition. And we got our little stir knife here. We're gonna go ahead. Um, what we've been doing with these series is we've been adding just a little bit of colorant. Just a little bit. So we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna try using just a pinch. This is a powder, so this is gonna be very hard to, uh, to judge. So I'm just gonna do something like that. We'll use a very small amount. And we're gonna, it's just gonna have um, a slight blue hue to it, and it's gonna look white. <clears throat> And you know what? We're just gonna put our, we're gonna go ahead and put our flakes in now. So I'm just gonna go ahead, since this is just one color, we're gonna put, I'm just gonna go ahead and load this thing up. Cause it's kind of white on white. So there we go. So again, in this series, we're gonna start out real light. We'll make one real light and then we'll go darker as we move along. So as you can see here, with powders, it's a little bit different than with the liquids. So we have to really work this stuff in, really work it in. So I don't know if you could tell already, but it's gonna be a real light, ghost shrimpish look, which is, that's what we're going for. We're going for a bluish, clear look with some holographic flake. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. All right, so we're gonna pop this back in the microwave. We're gonna heat it up to the right temperature and we'll go from there. So this is our mold. It's the craw mold from uh, Angler's Alley. It's a two piece aluminum mold. We're gonna be using one injector. I got my injector from Bass Tackle. So just one aluminum injector. So real simple, one, we're gonna use one color, one glitter, and we're gonna continue that trend and we're gonna make three variations of the same color so you can see how versatile you could be with one color. So I keep getting requests for this clear bluish. Um, I was looking at some ghost shrimp last night and they got like a white hue to them and they have a little bit of bluish and they kind of shine a little bit. 
So we're going to see if we can get this down. I've never made this color before, so we're going to... We're going to see if we can do this. Alright, so let's put it back in the microwave and let's get to, get to it. Okay, so we're back up to temperature. We're going to go ahead and stir this around. Make sure that we have all our flakes in the order and our blue hue to it. So, let's go ahead and shoot this thing and see what we come out with. We're going to go ahead and push down with light pressure and then when we get to the end we're going to hold and then we're going to lift up and top off our sprue and then we're going to do the same thing on the other end and I'm going to top it off. All right. So we'll let that cure out, we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll open this bad boy up and let's see what our uh, bluish ghost shrimp is going to look like. Alright, while we're waiting for this thing to cure up, we're going to go ahead and add more colorant to, to our mix here. So we're just going to go ahead and double what we did last time and see if we can get more of a hue. So we're going to just double it. Pour it in here, and we're going to mix this bad boy up. Remember, this is just plastic, and this powder, it's one color. There we go. We mix it in. There it is. You can definitely see a little bit more of a variation. Now make sure you scrape the bottom. All right. So now we're ready to go on our next shot. We already added our colorant. And actually, you know what? I'm going to add a little bit more. Just because, like I said, I really want to see. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and add a full... We're gonna add a full cup. I've just been noticing in our last videos that you really can't tell the variation very much with just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix this up. See if we can get a real difference out of it. You can tell it, it's getting milky now. Cool. All right. So just for the record, we went to we went one extra full scoop. So we started out with half a scoop. This is going to be one extra full scoop. So a scoop and a half. Um, and on the very next one, we'll add maybe one or two. I don't know. We'll see what the results look like. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Let's see what our ghost shrimp looks like. I'm actually pretty excited to see this. We got a lot of people requesting these. Or requesting to see if I can make them. Which I know I can. It just takes practice. All right. So here we go. Moment of truth. Ooh. Well, they came out, but they came out a little cloudy. They still look pretty cool. Came out cloudy, but you could tell that there is, it's like yellowish in the center. So clears are really hard to do. And I've heard that, but 
I'll take them, man. I'll throw these. shoot phase two so this is uh, a little bit more blue highlight than the last one hmm So since we have our mix out already, let's go ahead and add, um, I'm going to go ahead and add two more just to see if it does anything. One, two. So this is going to be a total of three one quarter teaspoons. This will be our last one for this series. Gotta really mix those powders in. All right, let's open this thing up and let's see what we got. So this is going to be our second. Second pour. All right, so we just added a little bit more. Not much. Well, wait, we added a whole nother cup. I'm sorry. And this is what they came out like. So I don't know if you could tell, but they are white and blue. And they have like a bluish hue to them.
Cool. So let's do our last one. All right, we got our temperature. So now we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. Number one, I can already tell, it looks a lot more white. Hold pressure. Wait about 10 minutes and we'll see what we got. All right, let's open this thing up and let's see what we got. You can definitely tell a difference. Um, these are going to be a lot more like a pearl white with a blue hue to them with some flake. But they look cool. And I don't know why this mold keeps doing this, but I've tried shooting hotter, I tried applying more pressure. Um, as you can see, one cavity always comes out with flashing, no matter what I do. All right, so as you can see, this is going to be our clearest one. It's just got a little bit of that blue highlight with the holographic flake. This one has a little bit more, and this is going to be our darkest. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This was our um, white blue ghost kind of color for our crawdad series. Um, as you saw, you know, we went through different variations with one color, one glitter this time. So one injector, nothing crazy. Anybody can do it. If you need any help, reach out in the comments. You can follow me on Facebook. You can hit me up on Instagram. I usually reply to everybody in a timely fashion. Um, try it out. Make your own baits. You can make any color you want. Uh, this is a real simple video. It's just one color, one glitter, one injector, one mold. I mean, it's endless. The colors are endless. The techniques are endless. Um, we're going to continue with our series with some double colors here pretty quick. And you guys can follow along with me there. Thank you for watching. My name is Robert Munoz. Thank you for watching my channel, Death by Hook. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and be sure to share with your friends. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Thank you. Let's go to the bay and get a Death by Hook. I'm taking the boat to the pier. I got no fear. I'm living it up. I'm filling it up. I got a bucket of fish. Death by Hook. Cast your fears away